Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and we do understand the cold snap. Okay, and we also do understand what the snap and how things can just change because they've been talking about the president and oh, they're talking about the I word. What? Does Biden really have the deciding vote? Now since they've realized it only takes 51 votes to get things done. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Because I figured you would go around like I did. Instead, you went like Monty would. <laughs> yeah, I go around. She is my daughter. He <laughs> went around the tripod. <laughs> you know, it's just got off a big 3D camera and she walked by it. So. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, this president is so popular that uh, he, he now has decided that all that I have to do is go out and talk to people and they'll do anything I want them to do. <laughs> uh -huh. The Republicans... Uh, here it is, the people that are the Republican haters are now saying that this, everything is such a god-awful mess that the Republicans can do nothing now and get away with it. I mean, they'll, they'll pass a continuing resolution, which he will veto, and then they'll say, well, we, we passed a continuing resolution. The President of the United States decided he would shut the country down this time. And basically, the Democrats can't have a... The, he, he, he has to shut the government down in order to uh, to get the people's attention off of health care, which she's got it, they said, the Las Vegas had just put the odds up, 75%. There's a 75% uh, chance that he will not serve out this term, and they said there's a 10% chance right now from the people, some of his personal allies that said that he will resign before the next election, because the party's going to force him out over every... That, that they admitted this morning, the NSA admitted that they have been lying to Congress and they're wanting Clapper and other people put behind bars for deliberate. Well, you have to understand, this is, I love this, but, oh, Flea Obama, you know what Flea Obama says? He actually came out and said, well, you people have to understand, we lie for a living. Why should oh, we? Oh, did they actually say that? We lie for a living. And uh, uh, they're, they're, I mean, they, he admitted that they lied to Congress about what they were doing. Oh. When they were coming to get Congress made, okay, Republicans that support the NSA have found themselves in a god-awful bad position because the NSA has now admitted, well, yes, we're monitoring people without their permission. Yes, we're doing this without court orders. Yes, we're doing that. Oh, and yeah, and then they, oh, what was it that one of the Republicans found out? Oh, yeah, we know what your kids, we know who your kids are screwing. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, my kids? I only have daughters. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And they're not that old. They're not that old. So mm -hmm. that was not, when you said, when that was published in the papers this morning, and uh, that, see, what happens is... That's always a way to get under a father's... Yeah, that they tell you your little girl is basically jumping on not one but a bunch of guys. All of a sudden you lose your support for the people. Well, it doesn't mean that there's any fact to that. Yeah, you can bet there's fact to it because they wouldn't deny it this morning. Oh. If they, okay. If they, uh, because they said that we have evidence from Snowden, uh, including, uh, you know, there was it phone communications, which they're not supposed to be monitoring. You're not supposed to be doing, doing emails, okay? This morning, all of the major communications companies come out and demanded that the President of the United States immediately, by executive order, toss those guys in a cell and throw the keys away. And he's not guys? Gonna, the people who were at NSA because they broke, they're monitoring everything that's going on in the country. I mean, his big facility, who was building bigger than most little cities, that yeah. has come to a halt because they didn't know they were funding a damn thing either. <laughs> they were wondering where they got the money. Well, Obama gets money for a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't necessarily go directly to him anyway. Yeah. yeah. Republicans take out new attacks on Obamacare. Yeah, you know what the attack, okay, the attacks are is that they're pointing out to people, they're running Obama's things about, um, you know, well, you know, if you got something better, call me and we'll talk. So they're running 2009. 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013, when one Republican congressman and one senator after another, had, they said they've got 59 times they have brought up things to fix the program, and he has refused to talk to any of them. And they said, was the president lying once again? Mm. So, okay, uh, oh, what, here, here's one. Here, I'm going to explain to the president lying to the American public. It is best put in the terms of Mark Twain. How, uh, how do you know when a politician is lying? How? 
they opened their mouth, didn't they? Mm. So that's, they're lying, folks. And the new mayor of New York needs huge tax hikes on everyone to pay the bills. Yeah, well, it's all right if you're going to tax the wealthy, but here's the problem is, you know why the New York Civic Opera is folded? Why? Because the people that they need to tax no longer live in the city. They've left. Oh. Because they can't afford oh, the taxes. That's, that's why. Sad. Okay, because that's why they're doing that auction. You can always get somebody to pony up money because it really, you know, it's a it's a Mickey Mouse thing for a bunch of rich guys to get together. The problem is most of the rich guys no longer live in the city of New York. They live in the outskirts in the state of Missouri, or they live in one of the states next door. That's why. Okay, have you ever seen the team? You know, the, like you can go back as far as. Um, as Dick Van Dyke show when he lived in New Rochelle and came in. People live in other states and, and use the train to come in in the morning to go to New York City to work. Mm -hmm. And they do the same thing. If they're living in one of the other cities, they live out of state and come in. Mm -hmm. The people that have the money are working in New York, but they aren't living there anymore. Mm -hmm. And Obamacare will never enroll all Americans. Well, they've already, okay, here's what they have done. This morning, they cut it back that there will be 17 to 27 million people that will be enrolled in Obamacare and because that by the time that the Republicans, they did, they're now saying they're going to take control of the Senate. By the time they take control of the Senate in 2015 when they take official control, there will be 17 to 27 million people and he's counting on everybody in the country being enrolled and they've dropped the whole total to 17 to 27 million and because of these people Republicans will not be able to repeal Obamacare. Uh, what? Yeah, and then you know what, what Free Obama said? They're going to replace it with something else. What they're going to do is take the people that un aren't uninsured and just pay for it or medical coverage. Mm -hmm. You know what it, uh, one guy said? It saves a trillion and a half dollars if they just write a check out and pay for it. Mm -hmm. Then they get coverage, which has always been the same. You know, how do you pay for it? Well, everybody pays like an extra ten bucks a piece on their insurance policy instead of two or five, two to three thousand more. Exclusive nonprofit that lets homes to investors faces scrutiny. Yeah, because it's another scam by the Democrats. <laughs> An electric car maker Fisker files for bankruptcy. Oh yeah, I mean we. Yeah, yeah, he, I, he, here's one thing you really didn't see a lot of at the LA Auto press days was electric vehicles. There were you some, didn't. but you saw That's they true. were not something that. Okay, basically they they taught they touted the same Audi for from one auto show to another, but no one's going to buy the things for Christ's sake because they all know the Tesla doesn't work. Oh, that's true. They all know the testing. And they, and well, they've got. Uh, I mean, they did not bring out the big guns. They, they, we got, we were shown an electric vehicle at the General Motors press conference. That virtually the only reason people showed up for the press conference, because that was the only place you could get a good lunch that day. And it was a very minor press conference too, showing you two vehicles, the same vehicle in I different know, colors. I know that was just like a waste. And it basically, it, they can't sell the Volts, so they're bringing out something else they can't sell because they remember. They're called, they're called government motors for nothing. And Wisconsin Assembly approves the delay in state Medicaid changes. Because they don't have the money. They, mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, because they, they, the people aren't working in Wisconsin. I mean, the, 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 pay, the way it works is if you don't have a great big base to draw from, you can't raise taxes to pay for social programs. The Democrats want new social programs. There's no money to pay for it because you can only tax... Uh, okay, here's the way it works. Margaret Thatcher said, here's the ultimate definition on when socialism ends. Socialism ends when the last five pounds is taken from the last person living in the country. Mm. And waitress who received alleged anti-gay receipts suspended pending investigation. Oh yeah, PayPal is basically having to refund donations to the female. They're probably what? going to... They're probably going to charge you with a criminal, criminal misconduct. Well, she says she never asked for money, but she didn't tell people no either. And they sent her, okay, the case, yeah. she wrote a thing that said that she was a, a, a gay slur. The only problem was is that the people, um, here's what happens when a right-handed person signs something is different than a left-handed, and the two people are left-handed. Uh, and there were no similarities in the writing style whatsoever. Mm. And black students lagging in admissions to the University of California. Which is totally pure BS. Yeah, and, and minorities get admissions by just showing up at the door. 
And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, that uh, you can only lie to the people so long and then your own allies begin to turn on you. <laughs>